somebody really liked this Pillsbury Doughboy and they were like, you know what? I've got an idea. All right. Well, today I decided to take a trip to Hanover, Pennsylvania. I've been keeping it pretty local to Lemoyne, but today we drove all the way to Hanover, all 30 minutes. So we're gonna head in here today. Um, it is senior day, so it's probably gonna be a little bit crowded. We're gonna see what we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. I was gonna say, I like the mixed metal of that. Kind of reminded me of Michael Aram. I think it's Michael around, um, but it's not. Usually those pieces are signed. And that, of course, is Ross. <laughs> so we're gonna get started. It's actually not that crowded back here in the hard goods section, so that's nice. The last time I was here, I found a really neat sculpture that I passed by once. The second time I picked it up, and it did in fact sell over the weekend. Uh, for $195. This is really cool. $2.99, that's a mirror. It's got glue holding it together. <laughs> but I like it, so I'm gonna stick it in here. And then, this is probably a hobbyist, but I like the glaze on it. And check out that giant owl thing down there. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna think about this. I'll stick it in here. We'll consider it as we walk around. Here's some milk glass, but this is just like a standard piece, not really worth much. That's usually why I steer clear of milk glass. Avon, Avon. There's a pottery bowl, but this is for decorative use only. Got a cute sheep on there. This is probably just decorative. This is Pier 1 Imports. That's what the sticker says on the bottom. Original price was $99.99, so it was originally $100. Their price is $24.99, but it does have damage. You can see on the corner. So if I was to buy it for myself, I'd pay that, but for resale, I'm not gonna pay that. So this little duck is very sweet. It's actually marked on the bottom. Something New Mexico. I'm not really so sure about it. I'm like, you know, it's $1.99. I don't know. $1.99. I think I'm going to be picky. I think I'm going to leave it on the shelf today. And we're going to keep going and see what else we can find. Oh, look. There we go. $6.99 on this. So this is some antique milk glass. I did feel a bit of a rough spot here on the edge. I mean, that's kind of to be expected on an antique piece like this. And you can tell it's antique because it's not so, um, the white of the milk glass isn't so saturated. And it's a little bit more um, see-through. And it's hand-painted, so $6.99, I think I'll take that. We'll stick it in here. And we will keep going and see what else we can find. This is Darling. I imagine it's contemporary. No markings, but it is probably content. Oh my gosh, look at the eyeshadow. Wow. <laughs> Couples eyeshadow. Look, they match. The next time Andrew and I go out in public, I'm gonna be like, hey babe, guess what? I got this eyeshadow that I think would look great on both of us. And we should try it out. And we'll see what he says. And this is fun. Um, I don't know who makes this. Again, though, I'm assuming this is more contemporary. I guess today I'm going to be a little bit more picky than I normally am. I'm going to pass on that. That's just kind of fun. <laughs> Green Buyer International, Chesapeake, Virginia. I'm not sure what's happening. Somebody's just saying hello, hello <laughs> over their intercom. <laughs> They're not saying what they need. They're just saying hello, hello. <laughs> $2.99 on this. I kind of like that. It has little handles on it. I don't see any damage. Pick that up. Here is a cat family. Mommy and the little babies. The price on that? $2.99. I'll take cat family. Let me just double check. Yeah. So it's a redware. I think it's 
probably Japan, even though I don't see any markings. Uh, down here we have a little bit of Stangle, but there is a chip on there. Stangle Country Life. I like these candle holders. But one of them has chipping, so probably a little bit sharp to the touch. I'm not going to attempt to cut myself, so I'm not going to grab it. Back here, that is cased glass, probably Japan. can't quite read the sticker, but it's $1.99. I think it's cased. It might actually just be milk glass, but it has some nice hand-painted florals on it for $1.99. I think we'll grab that as well. Um, nothing else is really jumping out at me from this shelf. So put that in there. It's so funny. I noticed there's a ton of bedpans in here today, and I kind of almost wonder if somebody had a bedpan collection. Because there were some on the other shelf, and I really didn't think that they were worth filming. But now that I'm seeing more of them, I'm like, hey, guess what? Somebody actually had a collection of these. And we're backing up because I just noticed something. <laughs> I'm gonna back up for a minute. And we're gonna check out these candle holders. Oh, those are contemporary, okay. Just wanted to get a closer look at those. And then I wanted to come over here because I noticed there is a pottery wall pocket. It's kind of nice for a buck 99. And actually, I wasn't even coming here for the wall pocket. I wanted to look at this. So this is Italian. There's a hole on the bottom. My guess is that this would have been a a, um, a lamp. I don't know why I had a, such a hard time finding that word. This was probably a lamp at one point. Um, but I really love the florals on that for $3.99. So I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to also look at this little perfume which the atomizer needs a little puffy ball, but we're going to leave that behind and we're going to venture on down this way. Here are some of the candle holders, a little bit of soapstone. I don't usually mess with soapstone. I think I've mentioned in the past that we had a friend who lived with us a couple summers in a row that was from Kenya. And whenever he would travel back home to Africa, he would bring back um, tourist souvenirs, and that includes soapstone. So in my head, I just associate soapstone, carved soapstone like this with tourist souvenirs. And I usually just steer clear of it. I don't really see much resale value in it. Um, I'm gonna go this way. This is really fun and wacky. <laughs> Teapot, a few teddy bears. Oh, this is really, I kind of like the pattern on this. I wonder who makes it. Oh, it's a burger. Look at that. Isn't that fun? I wouldn't have guessed that. But it's $12.99 for the bowl, and it's $9.99 for the underneath. This looks like it's got some age to it. $1.99 for that. It kind of matches. I think they're kind of busy up front. Maybe everybody's over in the clothing. Right. Nothing else. Not that I'm noticing anyway. There's a doll down here. You guys know I don't do much with dolls, but we'll take a peek at it. Dolls aren't really my thing. Those look like they might be vintage. $2.99. I'll grab a bag of vintage angels. All right, well, I've wandered down this direction to where some of the um, dinnerware is. And I figured we'd take a peek. This is, I guess, a teapot. Where's that marked on the bottom? I can't even quite make that out. <laughs> it is made in England. A little uh, felt scrap up there and some canisters, Avon. I'm going to head in this direction. And we're going to look at the shelves over here. And I will get back to you guys if anything jumps. Oh, wait, what is that? That's interesting. There's holes in it. What is that? $3.99. And there's three holes. 
I wonder if I have enough signal to do a uh, look up. All right, well, mystery solves. This is a carnival glass other. <laughs> of course that's what it is. It's a carnival glass other. Just kidding. It's probably not what it is. But that is really the only thing we have to go on. Carnival glass other. <laughs> it's really not much to go on. I don't know, it's just really perplexing that it has those three holes and I'm trying to think, what could those be? Why would it have, I mean, it's kind of a bowl. I was like, could it be a lampshade? Probably not. I don't know, at $3.99, I'm willing to take a chance on it and figure it out later. I don't wanna stand here all day trying to figure this out. So I'm gonna stick it in here. If you guys know in the comments, feel free to drop me a hint. Cause it's got me a little perplexed, but it's pretty cool. Like that, I think that's kind of neat. Right. So this thing is actually pretty cool. I had it in my cart. I pulled it out to give you guys a closer look at it. Um, I noticed it's got some age to it and I kind of recognize it as laboratory something or other because it's got this beaker inside. Check this out. So, <laughs> Andrew actually, when, uh, whenever we first met, he had a bunch of farm, pharmaceutical um, old pieces, glass stuff um, to sell. And uh, so this is Cook Weight uh, Laboratory stuff. Um, I looked it up and it turns out this is dental. Um, I think this is the same thing. Vintage Cook Weight Glass Dental Medical Sterilizer. So <laughs> I'm pretty certain that's what this is. So this is this would have actually held dental syringes. That's pretty cool, right? I think it's the same thing, but it's over $175 with the syringes. So I wonder if this container would be worth anything. It's only $2.99. I'm gonna grab it. We'll put it on eBay and see what happens. That, that is nothing special. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Six ninety nine. Originally nine dollars and ninety four cents. That looks like a fun book. Shinny Ghost. I wonder if I should grab that for the kiddos. It might be a fun book. That's kind of fun. <laughs> I think it's homemade. Somebody really liked this Pillsbury Doughboy and they were like, you know what? I've got an idea. I'm not saying it was a good idea, but they had one and they followed through with it. Are these just blocks of wood? Is there something on these blocks of wood? They're just solid blocks of wood? Swiss mess. Oh, that's fun. I wonder if that's worth anything. I'm gonna look it up. All right, well, it looks like this sells for about $6. It's $1.99. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave that one behind. I see lots of sets listed, and I don't think anyone's gonna really want one cup. Well, I actually noticed this when I was looking through the other side. candy dish. I know it's clear, but I really like the pattern on that for $2.99. So I'm going to grab that and stick it in the cart here very carefully. I don't think that was there before. I only have a bone dish for $1.99. I like the pattern on it, but it's just a single bone dish. So. This is made in Germany. I not really read what it says, but there's a G on the back. A little bit of flea bite on the outside, but I like the bird for a buck ninety-nine. I think I'll pick that up. Oh my sales. Ideal iron stone hand painted. Alright, so 
Well, I think I'm almost about ready to get out of here. We've got quite a few things. I've got a few things. i got a digital thermometer and a book. Other than that, a few things for resale. We didn't get any home runs so far. I don't know. Maybe we'll still find a home run. We're not done yet. But I think I'm about ready to start wrapping it up. All right. I noticed this sweet little duck in here I wanted to take a closer look at. Oh my gosh, that's so darling. What is that? Made in China. <laughs> so cute. $1.99 on that. Alright, I guess I'll stick him in there. He might be cute for Easter. I'll probably hold on to that till then. Stick him in my Easter box and stash him away. Alright, well I don't think that was there when I came through the first time. Because I remember looking at that Philmont Scout Ranch. Um, this is a milk glass child set. I think it's $1.99 for the set. Let me just check this over one more time. Yeah, there's no price on the cup. They were together. I'm assuming it's for the set. And uh, I will take that set for $9.99. That's very darling. Oh, wait. Ooh, wait a second. I think I just found a boo-boo. Darn it, there's a chip under there. I don't know, at $9.99. If it was like $3.99 and there was a chip, I would probably take it. But at $9.99 with a chip, I can't do it. That's interesting. I wonder if it goes like that. That's I don't think it really goes like that. <laughs> Alright. This is interesting down here. I know these pieces can I don't know anything about cookware, but I've seen these before. I'm probably you know, I probably wouldn't buy it, but um I've seen these go. I've seen these sold before. I know they can be worth money. What even is it? Something stoneware. Classics collection. I don't know anything about that. That's outside my wheelhouse. It's something I probably wouldn't want to mess with. Looks like a pain to ship, but I know they can be worth money. What in the world is this thing? I think that's a candle. I think it's made of wax. <laughs> it's like a monkey. I don't know what's going on there. This is a pretty color, but... What even is that? Made? Oh, it's made in Italy. Oh, it's pretty, but I don't need an Italian picture. All right, I think I'm gonna head up towards the checkout now. I think that's it for me. We got a few cool things. Let's just check it out for a minute. Make sure there's nothing we want to put back. It's just a couple items. I need to fill my cart every single time. This here is kind of the wild card because obviously we saw that uh, one of these complete with all the pieces sells for 175 I don't have all the pieces, but at a $2.99 investment, you know, I could sell that for 15 bucks and make money. So I'm willing to take that gamble. The tile I never looked up, but again, at a buck 99 there's a lot of these pieces here, you know, you pay Goodwill prices and it's a little bit easier to say, okay, I don't necessarily need to look this up because I know worst case scenario I'm gonna break even I think we're good I think we're probably gonna head up towards the checkout now all right so down here in the case there's a Pendleton bag with a cushion for $39.99 that I think I might pull out I don't know much about them but I think Pendleton's pretty good so I might grab that out all right well our total spend today was $94 and um, did we find a home run today no, we didn't get any home runs, but we did find some treasures that we can buy and flip for a profit, and that is always the goal. Um, I'm kind of excited for the wild card, which is completely out of my wheelhouse and out of my usual expertise, uh, which is that um, dental, dental beaker thing. Um, I'm kind of excited for that. Um, I did see that one sold on Worth Point for $175 that was complete. Granted, the one that I have is not complete, so it's not going to go near that. But um, I'm excited to see how that does. And I, I will probably do a little bit more research on that. It's probably a buy it now. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be a buy it now. Um, but I think that could be something good. 
even though it's not complete. Um, yeah, on that note, I'm probably gonna get out of here. Probably gonna head on down the road to Black Rose of Hanover because I often find some good deals there. Sometimes better than the Goodwill prices. So that's where I'm heading down to next. That's where I'm heading next. Um, it's down the road, so that's where I'm heading down to next. But you guys are gonna have to wait for that video, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. So long.